Have you ever noticed how there's a unique and surprising connection between the idea of taking what stresses us and the emotions that might be challenging us and making them work for us and the two different meanings of the word express. When express was first entered into the English language, it was in the 1300s and it came from a French term that literally meant to press out, to express. And then it was in the early 1700s when the term was first used in the context of sending a message via express service. But if we wanna take our emotions and stress and have them work for us, let's think about those two meanings in this way. If you want to free yourself from the grip of stressors, emotions, and fears, express them. It puts you in the fast lane to moving forward. You know, John Locke, the English philosopher and, and physician once said, what worries you masters you. So if we're, as we are leading ourselves and others through times of change and a lot of stress and a lot of different kinds of emotional reactions, we are well served to express them especially with our teams, to genuinely, with encouragement and courage, boldly share and support each other as we process those stressors and emotions and fears. Again, express them, and it puts you in the fast lane to moving forward. That's one way that we can plan to be our best as we navigate change.